Yo, what's good people? Welcome to day 73 of the weight loss transformation, the mindset transformation, and most importantly of all, the lifestyle transformation. So 336 on the scale this morning, baby. 336. So we had the low weigh in yesterday and it's continuing now. Hopefully we see that 335 tomorrow, people. I'm sure we will now. We're at a level 336. I'm going to eat just beef today. Well, that's what I've eaten. I'm obviously recording this at the end of the day. So I've just had beef, no bacon, just to cut on those little calories slightly because I really want to see that 335. Uh, I'm not eating majorly early. I, I ate around 11. So I'm not trying to manipulate the scale, right? Obviously, seeing 335 would be absolutely amazing, and I am taking it that step further, removing the bacon from the meal. That's only about 200 calories. But, like, what, what's the point of me trying to trick the scale? It's not going to get me anywhere, and there's the beef you can see on screen. Because I could eat this. Obviously, I get up very early. This is recorded while I'm in the gym at, like, I, I arrive at the gym about 10 past 3 in the morning and move some weight here, four plates aside, training some chest, baby. I know my angle's not too different to my shoulder press, but yes, this is chest, high incline. But actually, how I arch is almost kind of flat when you when you look at it. Um, but this is a five plate banger. This is what I did on the shoulder press the other day. So it's 100 kg aside, supposedly. Uh, what's that? 220 pounds aside. Obviously, it's a fixed machine, so it's a lot easier to do. But I was grinding here. You could tell I'm putting in that work, baby. I really, really... I was surprised how strong and how energetic I was, considering it's getting to the end of the, the week. Obviously, the refeed would be tomorrow. But how I've suddenly got this second wind, and it's it happened actually last week where right before the refeed day, I, I seem to maybe I adjusted to the food again or something, or maybe I just knew that I was going to eat more and I could grind a bit harder. Who knows? I was just feeling it this morning, people. I was there. And when we got the sessions, when we're feeling it, we're going to take it for all it's worth. I'm going to rinse it as much as I can. So really grinding out on the pressing there. Can't even remember what I was talking about already. Brilliant. Oh, yeah. Manipulating the scale, right? So I've been told, and what I've seen in the, the weight loss community, normally with the people that aren't actually losing weight and messing about, and they, they tend to be trying to trick the scale and things like that. Is You're not going to see any benefits. What is the point in doing that? Like, that's why I'm saying I'm not going to let the scale define my happiness. Of course, seeing a 335 would be great, and it would put us bang on on our two to three pounds that we're aiming for to lose a week in theory should be about two pounds but it might be more because i don't track my activity and things like that that's purely a thousand calorie deficit a day in food that's what i do to get to the results but some days i'll be i've been a bit more active this week like i said washing my car uh, being out for a walk and just being on my feet a bit more this week too so that all adds up to burning calories as well. But just nutrition wise, I eat around 2,200 calories a day. It was more so 2,000 today. And that's what I do across the week. But like, there's no point trying to trick the scale. You're not doing anything. What's the difference really between 336 and 335? Obviously, it's good and you go, oh, I lost this much weight or whatever. But if you're doing stupid stuff to try and manipulate it for your way in, there's no point. And the reason why I say that is I don't want to call her out. I'm calling out my mother here. Um, she hasn't done it recently, but she used to say, oh, if I eat my food earlier and things, I'll have a lower weigh in tomorrow. Not that she she's lost weight in the past, like years and years ago, and she's at a healthy weight now anyway and has been maintaining that for a while. But you know what people are like and obsessing with the scale and things going, oh, I put on two pounds. It's literally because you've eaten more food and you're holding water. But it is what it is. What I'm trying to say is, there's no point trying to mess with the scale and with all these gimmick and things, eating early, I don't know, people fast. I've heard people going in saunas and sweating it out. I don't really consume too much other weight loss content because I don't want to be influenced by others. Um, I want to just document my own journey and show my story and not feel like I'm trying to do something else, if that makes sense. But anyway, yeah, what I'm, now, now I sound guilty. I almost sound guilty talking about it. But hopefully you can, you guys trust me by now. You can see it in the physique. You can see it in the result. I'm not here to mess about. I'm here to save my life and get back to where I was and that's what I'm here to do and trying to showcase it. And if anyone can sitting at home sees it and gets on their journey, I know there's a lot of people leaving comments at the moment. Well, have been actually from the start, which I'm, I'm so happy about. So privileged to be able to have, have people watch and comment and things, but people saying like, I, I'm holding them accountable because you know what? Some people react well to this. Some people don't. I'm putting it out there. I'm turning up every single day. 
for the most part. I'll have a rest day short, but that's all part of the plan as well. I'm not letting it slip. I'm setting the standard here. If you're wishy-washy watching going, oh, I'm going to start next week, I'm going to start next week. Well, guess what? We're 70-something days in now, and your boy has been posting every single day. When you're laying in bed thinking about, oh, should I get up, should I go to the gym, or maybe I'll have a cheat day or something today, just know I've got up at quarter past two and I'm in the gym and I'm working, I'm putting in that work and I'm eating what I'm meant to be eating and that is why we have lost as much weight as we have in the span of time we have. I'm out here grinding every single day and you can go, yeah, but you're not working full time and all these things. I'm busy as well. I've got stuff I need to be doing. Do you think making these videos doesn't take some time out of my day? Of course it does. I've got another channel I do on the side as well and a couple of other bits. I'm still working, I still got stuff to do, and like I said, working full time and whatever, you can't be wasting your time. If anything, a strict structure, if you have a structured work, is one of the easiest things to do because you have your lunch at a certain time, you can eat your meals at a certain time, and you can train at a certain time. So I don't want to hear any excuses from anyone, and I don't want to be coming across like a bit of a, a poo-poo, but I am right now. I'm just saying some people need to hear that, and I know I wanted to hear that back in the day, that you have to think if you're wishy-washy, um and iron and about getting going, man. There's people out there getting going, and I'm one of them. I'm a go-getter right now. I'm up early putting that work every single day to get back where I deserve to be, and not only where I deserve to be, where the people around deserve me to be. And what I mean by that is how I was living before, selfish, drinking, binge eating, not presenting my best self forward. That is unfair to everyone around you people. So I'm rectifying it now. I'm grinding and I'm doing what I can to make sure I'm back, baby. But I'm going to end it here, people. See you tomorrow for the next one. Bye.